Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, in the previous video, we already look how to uh, compute the break-even point by using contribution approach and equation approach. So now we have to look at uh, the third approach, which is uh, based on graph, eh? graphical. So there are basically three uh, type of graph that you can use in order to determine your break-even point. Uh, first of all, we have a break-even graph. Second, we have a contribution break-even graph. And the last one is a profit volume graph. Okay, assuming, uh, please refer to your manual in page 92. Assuming we use the same illustration 4.1 to draw the graph. Okay, first of all, we extract the information in illustration 4.1. Uh, in that illustration, the fixed cost is equal to RM6000 and variable cost is equal to RM1 per unit okay. and the selling price is equal to RM2 per unit. Okay. Right. So based on this information, how are we going to draw the break-even graph? Uh, the format was stated in page 92. First of all, we have to draw the axis. Eh? Park C, X and uh, axis X and Y. So, uh, draw the cost, uh, draw the, draw the axis, which is the horizontal is for level of activity. This is horizontal. This is a level of activity. And then uh, we have vertical is for value of sales or revenue. Eh? Okay, for the vertical, for the vertical, we have the sales or cost in RM. Eh? Okay, so step number one is done. We already uh, draw the horizontal axis and vertical axis horizontal is for the level of you a level of activity and the vertical is for sales value and cost okay next draw the cost line the first cost line is a fixed cost line okay so we have a fixed cost of 6000 so how are we going to draw it draw, draw that eh? So even you have uh, zero uh, level of activity, means you don't produce anything, you still have to incur fixed cost of 6,000 ringgit. Okay. Even you produce uh, 1,000 1, or uh, 5,000, the cost or 10,000, the cost still 6,000. So uh, that's why it says that the fixed cost line is parallel parallel to the horizontal axis that represent the total fixed cost that is the same amount at every level of activity. So it's parallel, salary, eh, with your uh, level of activity. Okay, so uh, we can uh, label it as a fixed cost line. Okay, next, total cost line. Total cost means uh, the combination of fixed and variable cost okay so if you produce uh, one unit so means that the variable cost is one ringgit and the fixed cost is six thousand so six thousand and one okay but if you uh, produce nothing the cost till six thousand so the starting point for the total cost is at six thousand the more you produce, the higher the cost because variable cost will increase. So the line for total cost is like this. Eh? This is a total cost. So the difference between uh, the total cost and the fixed cost is known as is known as uh, variable cost. Eh? The difference between this. So if I just produce one thousand, means here is uh, seven thousand. Why why seven thousand? Because of uh, because of six thousand is fixed plus one thousand multiply with one ringgit one thousand ringgit variable cost. So six plus one is seven thousand. Okay. 
next uh, we have to draw the sales revenue line so sales revenue means uh, if you sell one unit you got two ringgit uh, two unit uh, four ringgit uh, three unit six ringgit if one thousand unit you got two thousand ringgit okay so the more you produce uh, the higher the revenue eh? but if you don't sell anything the revenue is zero so that's why we start from here so the line for revenue line is from zero uh, and it will goes up until uh, the more you produce eh? let's say you produce you sell 10,000 unit so 10,000 multiply with 2 you will get 20,000 ringgit so this is around 20,000 ringgit okay so if I just continue the line so if you sell 10,000 unit you will get you will get 20,000 20,000 here 20,000 eh, because of the sale of okay so this is a this is a, a revenue line eh? this is your revenue line revenue line okay when your revenue is higher than total cost uh, this what we call as a as a profit profit area eh? uh, so as long as your your revenue is lesser than cost this is this is your loss area loss loss area okay when the intersection between total cost and revenue uh, this what we call as a uh, as a as a break even point this is your break even break even point yeah okay so um if if your fixed cost is 6000 your sp is 2 and vc is 1 so means that your bep in unit if you calculate is 6000 divided by 1 is equal to 6000 unit so it means that you have to sell 6000 unit in order to get no gain no loss that's why the break even point is around here is around here is a 6000 unit okay so in general the break even graph okay this is what we call as a break even break even uh, graph break even point graph okay so in a break even graph we have a uh, fixed cost line okay we have total cost line and revenue line okay we have only three important line eh? so means that we have to draw the fixed cost line we have to draw the um, uh, total cost line okay and we have to draw the uh, the revenue line okay revenue line the difference between total cost and fixed cost, we can get the variable cost. Okay, so it means here in this graph, the the variable cost line is is uh, visible. Eh? It is invisible. Okay, uh, let's continue with the second type of graph. Uh, previous one is break even. Now it's a contribution break even graph. Okay, by using the same scenario, uh, the fixed cost is RM6000, the variable cost is ringgit per unit, okay, and the selling price is RM2 ringgit per unit. Okay, so now, uh, break-even is more or less, is, is the same like uh, break-even graph. Uh, it's just a matter of, okay, uh, try to look at the difference, eh? First of all, we draw the axis. Okay, we have horizontal. Horizontal is the level of activity. Okay, and then we have uh, vertical. The vertical is for uh, cost uh, and also sales. Sales and cost in RM. So if the break even graph, we have three lines, the fixed cost line. But in this contribution graph, there is no fixed cost line because in contribution they are focusing on variable cost. So that's why uh, you have to draw the variable cost line first instead of fixed cost line. So how the variable cost uh, means if you produce one unit, 
the variable cost is one ringgit. If you produce nothing, the cost is zero. So the more you produce, the higher the cost, so, right? So so the variable cost will be linear. This is a variable cost line, okay? VC line. Okay, now uh, the next step is after you've done your variable cost, then you draw your total cost line. Total cost line class. Total cost means uh, variable cost at plus fixed cost. So total cost line it will start with six thousand here, okay. But the total cost line will uh, will uh, in line with the VC line. Eh? So this is a TC line. So when people ask you where's the the fixed cost, the fixed cost is actually the difference between the difference between TC and VC. This is your FC line. Eh? So, uh, if I don't produce anything, the VC, uh, the variable cost is zero, but the total cost is six thousand. Once I produce one unit, okay, uh, it will be six thousand and one. Okay, when I produce one thousand, the cost will be seven thousand, and uh, it will it will uh, um, um, increase uh, because of the increase of variable cost. Okay, now. Uh, the the third line is a sales revenue line. Okay, the sales revenue also start with zero, uh, like previous one. If you don't produce, uh, if you don't sell anything, you will not get two ringgit. Uh, if you sell one unit, you get two ringgit. Uh, two unit four ringgit. Three unit six ringgit. So the 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 more you sell, the higher the the higher the revenue. Eh? So the the revenue line will increase. Eh? So this is your revenue line. Okay, revenue line. Okay, so when the revenue is higher than total cost, uh, when revenue is higher than total cost, this is your profit area. Okay, and when the revenue is lesser than total cost, this is your loss area. Okay, loss area. Okay, so if people ask you where's the contribution margin, the contribution margin is the difference between revenue and variable cost okay so this is your okay if i use the red pen uh, the red pen okay so if people ask you where's your contribution margin the contribution margin is the difference between variable cost and revenue so this is your area of area of contribution margin contribution margin eh? Okay, so the high, the more you produce, the more contribution margin that you will get. Uh, that's all for contribution graph. Okay, if you look at page ninety four, uh, it stated that the advantage of this graph is the the area of contribution can be portrayed clearly. That is located between the line of sale revenue and the line of total variable cost. Okay. Now, the last graph is a uh, profit volume graph. Okay, uh, before we proceed with profit volume, I forgot to mention that the intersection between the revenue and total cost here is actually your break-even point. Eh? So, when you identify the break-even, the break-even should be at uh, 6,000 units. Why? Because of, again, uh, BEP. BEP in unit is equal to FC divided by uh, CM. In this case, your FC is 6,000. Your CM is 2 minus 1. So, uh, again, your break-even point is 6,000 unit. Okay, the last graph is uh, profit volume. It's very simple.